Two photographs of Mrs. Patricia Kende Akpata stand close to the entrance of St. Peter's Anglican Church along Lagos Street in Benin, the Edo State Capital. The casket conveying the remains of the Bini princess is slowly wheeled into the church for a funeral service with the Right Reverend Dr. Peter Emaswen as one of the officiating ministers. Many years ago, we know our sister, bubbling with life, jumping from one place to another to make sure that the children are well taken care of. Every one of us shall lie like this one day. But what account are you going to give at the end? There are rules in every game, including Christianity. Born alongside her twin brother on the 21st of April, 1940, she got married to the late Justice Ephraim Akpata, a Supreme Court Justice and the first chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. She is fondly remembered by her children and other associates after her 83 years sojourn on earth. We have not really felt her passing. It's become a celebration of life, thing of joy. We are grateful for her life and very thankful to God for leading an, an exemplary life. My mom was an exceptional human being, excellent virtues, but for me, I'm taking away those virtues or characteristics around just being there for everyone, care, giving. Every tribute and every testimony about my mom actually portrays her as a true Proverb 31 woman. At the time of passing, she had actually said that she knew where she was going, you know, and that we would be all right. So we have no reason but to thank God for giving her a very fulfilled life. From the funeral service, dignitaries moved to another venue in Benin for a reception. The Olubosere and Akbata families treated guests to a wonderful time of fun with separate and joint dance sessions. Today we are celebrating life well spent. We are celebrating uh, a disciplinarian and we're celebrating uh, progress. I was discussing with uh, one of the guests today and he was telling me how she was a good golfer. The legacy of family, the legacy of love. Um, and she was such a talented person. One of the best amateur female golfers in Nigeria. She, she was so talented, she used, she used to crochet her own dresses. She made clothes for all the kids. She was an amazing woman. When we were young graduates in Lagos, um, she accommodated a lot of us, she fed a lot of us, and she nurtured so many people. So we're indeed grateful for her life and times and um, for her legacies as well. For the hosts and their visitors, it is a celebration of life. She's been wonderful. She's raised fantastic children. All of them are doing exceedingly well in their chosen vocations. Mama, I knew personally, and you could see all the goodness of a great mother in them. We read the decisions of Honorable Justice Akpata. We make use of them in our day-to-day -day practice of law. And now we can hear that it took the support of a wife like Mama that we have come to pay respect for to have such an excellent uh, husband who served so excellently on the bench of the Supreme Court. Ms. Patricia Akbata uh, obviously uh, has raised very, very uh, good children. And you can tell by the uh, number of people here today and the quality and the caliber of people present today. Uh, I think she epitomized beauty. Happy birthday to you. 
Vietime George, Arise News.